Hey guys, Ansible allows you to discover some information about the remote systems when it communicates with the remote system. This information is called facts. An example of this would be the IP address of the remote system or the host name of the remote system or the type of OS installed on the remote system. Now let's head back to the Ansible controller. To gather some facts about the remote system, we can type in Ansible and then the host or the group name for which we want to gather some facts and then minus M and we can type in setup and once we hit enter, it will give us a list of facts about the remote system. Now. You can see that it has given us some information so let's go all the way up and this information we've got contains all the IPv4 addresses associated with the remote system all IPv6 addresses associated with the remote system as well architecture BIOS information and some other pieces of information as well so let's say we want to check the distribution of the remote system we can do a grep and this will give us the details about the distribution of Linux installed on the remote system so we have information like the distribution name major version the release of the distribution etc now as you can see this is a lot of information one way to use this information is to add conditions in your tasks for example if you want to run a particular task on a particular list Linux distribution and version you can use facts that you've gathered about the remote system and create a condition in your task now in the previous lecture we would set up a role to install Apache on the remote system now in the install.yaml file we've created a task and utilized apt module but if you know Linux you would know that apt only works on Ubuntu and Debian distributions it does not work on Red Hat so this would be a perfect use case to put a condition in. So after name, we can type in when to specify the condition. And we can just copy this stuff from here for the when condition. So paste. Now here we need to type in equal to equal to. So when Ansible distribution is equal to Ubuntu, then this task would be run. And then we can just copy this. Actually copy the whole thing. and enter it here and let's just say when Ansible distribution is let's say CentOS or Red Hat I think Red Hat is better option so Red Hat Linux. I mean, this could not be the exact distribution that might come up on a Red Hat Linux system, but it serves as an example. And the service on Red Hat system is actually called HTTPD. So, this way we can have two tasks in our install.yaml file the first task would be run 
when the Ansible distribution is Ubuntu and the second task would only be run when the Ansible distribution is Red Hat Linux. And in the first task we've used the APT module which is the module or package used by Ubuntu and in the second one we've used YUM which is the package manager for Red Hat distributions. So let's save this one now and let's try and run this. And let's correct the file path and let's hit enter. Okay, we've got an error. I think I know why this is because the variable is actually specified like this on this one. So let's save and run this again. looks better this time. Now as you can see the first task to install Apache server was run successfully because it matched the distribution for Ubuntu. The second task was not matched and it was skipped. So the second task this one was not matched and it was skipped. So this way you can set up conditions to be used in conjunction with gathering facts. Now, I want to show you one more thing. By default, Ansible gathers these facts, but there might be scenarios where you do not want the facts to be gathered. In that case, what we'll do is, we'll go to our master playbook, install Apache using roles, and just beneath hosts, you can type in gather underscore facts and you can say no to not gather any facts. So this would then disable gathering facts. So if I try and run this playbook, let's see what happens. Now we got an error and the error message was that the conditional check Ansible distribution is Ubuntu was failed because we disabled the gathering of facts. So in this way you can manage if you want to gather any facts about your distributions or anything else about the system in your playbook or not. With this we have come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.